Ladies and gents, welcome back. This is JM Cad, and my name is Joe McGovern. We're doing more 3D models here. So hone your skills, sharpen your blade, and let's get going. I'll see you out there. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another 3D modeling extravaganza. Welcome back, and here we go. I'm looking at this block here and I don't have all the dimensions on it, but it is an eight by 15 block. As we go, we'll talk about the dimensions and we'll just build this thing. All right, so here we go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to 2D wireframe and start in the top view. I'm gonna create my box 15 by eight, 15 and eight. Now the distance between the edge of the model and the center of these circles is two. And the size of that circle is a diameter 1.5. So let's do an offset of two and then a diameter circle at the midpoint of 1.5. I'll copy that, grab it from the center or midpoint and put that over here. And then we have this curve out here and that's, you don't need to know the size of that because if you do a radius circle here, whoops, radius circle and you put it at the same center point, you just click it out when it touches the edge of our model. So we get this. Next thing, go into OS enter. Make sure that midpoint is checked. It should already be. Make sure intersection, extension, endpoint center, but also make sure you turn on tangent. That's the one we need right now. There is a tangent line going into this outside curve starting at this corner. And you can see there's a bunch of fillet edges on this thing too, but we'll talk about that much later. So from that point, it's four inches in to where the start of this wall is. So what I'm gonna do is offset by four on both sides from the left in and from the right in. That's gonna give me a point that I can click on and then I can go tangent to the circle. We get something like that. You can erase these lines. We can trim this and this and that and that and that and that all the way around. Now I'm gonna get rid of these two lines for now and I'm gonna join the outside minus that circle. That way I can extrude it down two units or two inches or whatever you wanna call it, join. Eight objects converted to one polyline. Bottom right corner, take all of this, extrude negative two. Uh, we want to go onto our 3D tools here, and we're going to subtract from the main model these two drill holes. Looking on conceptual, you'll see where we're at. Now, going back to 2D wireframe, I am going to move this above my grid. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put those lines back in, but I'm actually gonna use a rectangle. So I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna slide off of that point two. And if that doesn't work for you, then just take a polyline and go across, go two, go across again, four. Whoops, sorry, uh, that's eight. And then close, same thing. It's already closed, you don't have to join it. All right, these two, the main height here if I go to the front, dim linear from the very top to the very bottom is coming out to be six. So to the top, bottom right corner, I am going to extrude both of these four because we already have a platform that's six. In the right view, let's see if we can move our model over so it's not in the way of the other one. Uh, we're going to do this drill hole or circle right here, and that's going to be a dim diameter of, let's see if it gives us a number here, three. So the diameter is three. So if I go back into my circle tool and I click at this midpoint, the radius is either 1.5 or the diameter is three. Now that it's on this back surface or wherever it is, extrude it all the way through. If you need to, you can actually move it and slide it a little bit too to make sure that it's going through both sides. Subtract from this and this, enter, that, enter. So you get something like that. Now we are almost done here. 
we're on conceptual. What we need to do is we need to do a bunch of fillet edges. So there's a fillet edge on basically every line here, except for the rims where the drill hole is and this edge right here. Okay. All right. So guys, while I have your attention here, uh, if you guys wanted to follow me on Instagram, it's at it's cowboy Joe 2.0. And also with YouTube, if you guys could like the video, if you're learning something, subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell. I would be ecstatic. I really appreciate it. All right, so guys, going back to our model, I'm going to reset our view and we have one thing to do, although it's a big thing. Um, well, first you have to union these together and then you're going to do a fillet edge radius one fourth and they're going to be a ton of them. One, two, three. So if you want to just like fast forward the video, or if you want to keep watching, that's up to you. Enter twice. I, I suggest doing enter twice occasionally because you'll go through all of them and hit enter twice and then it'll mess up on you. So just do like three or four at a time, maybe six, and then enter twice. Uh, fillet edge radius, one fourth is the last one I used inside those little brackets. So if I hit space bar, it just establishes that again. One, two, three, one, two, three, enter twice. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, enter twice. Now let's do the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Did I get that one? That one. twice. All right, we got that and we're almost done here. Fillet edge radius one fourth. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I believe there are four more radius one fourth. I got to click this one, that one, that one, and that one. Enter twice. Model is done. Mine is red because I went back to 2D wireframe. I selected and I put red on there because I thought that looked cool. And that's it, guys. All right. Listen, I really appreciate you guys watching. I will see you in the next one. Later.